acceptance is the name. Universe is made up of the eternal, independent substances. See, these are the one thing. All these six substances, which you have heard the name in the past sessions, okay, they are six eternal, so there is no beginning, there is no end. Okay, they are going to be existing forever. Okay, eternal and in independent substances. Those substances are soul or living being. There are infinite souls or living being exist in the universe. Matter, Udgav. Okay, whatever you see, feel, these are all Pudga. Okay, our body, our no, oh, furniture, fixtures, car, computer, whatever you say, everything is good girl. Everything what you see, it is all put girl. The soul is invisible. You cannot see. Only thing you see is the soul is in the how in the body. And the body is you can see. And as long as soul is associated with matter, which is you no know, different types of the bodies, karmic body means karman sarir, audaric sarir, aharak sarir, very few people get that. But these are all the entages, these are all different types of the matter. Then the next two, number three and four, is the dharma and adharma. This is not in the religion sense, dharma and adharma. The proper name is dharmastikai or adharmastikai. No, is the principles of motion or principles of rest. Because soul or matter travels from one place to another place. And this is the Jain unique concept. You don't see this concept in other religions. It's a unique concept that these two principles for motion and the rest, okay, because soul is traveling or Pudgal is traveling from one place to another. It is due to the Dharmastikai. This is the independent substance that exists. And similarly, when they are in motion, they come to rest. It is also another independent substance, okay, is called the principle of rest. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind, the most important are the first two, Jeev and Pudgal. These are the most important ones. These, these two, it's kind of a giving, it's not really helping you to become spiritual and non-spiritual. But at least your curious mind will get a satisfactory answer when soul is moving from one place to another place, what stops them? Or when the soul is at rest or Pudgal is at rest, what gives me motion? What gives the soul and matter motion? Okay. Then the number fifth is a space. Space is everywhere. Everywhere, all these 14 Raj look inside and outside, anything. All right, and the, the sixth one is the time. Jainism, here is the one, same thing, the explaining time is also universal substances. Of course, Jain Acharyas, 
differ only on the six substance. Some of the acharyas no think that there are only five substances and time has no independent existence. While others generally believe that this time is an independent substance and its function is to measure the changes in jiva and puddha or soul and matter, whatever the changes occurring, that is the measurement things, whatever it is, it, it is still a kind of a, like I just told you, a, a, whether it measures the changes in soul or jiva or pudgal, okay, but it has no other purpose in, in that sense. I am born, uh, I am growing older, getting old. These are the time, how many years passed by. That's a measurement. And it's a relative measurement. Relative in a sense that since my birth, the time begins. Okay, and when I am die, then time stops. For me, actually, it's a vyavaric time. Time is not stopping, it's continuously going. I am born at some other place and again starts the same cycle. So that's the kind of the concept, you know, what we do. So I just, a little bit overview uh, about uh, the sixth universal substance definition. All these six substance has a, these most important characteristics, Utpad, Vya, and Dravya. Utpad means origination, Vya is destruction, and Dravya means permanence. So you can see it's like a contradicting things. The Dravya has origination, where the whatever the form or Paryai originates, the past uh, Paryai, past forms, changes, uh, destruction means the past one is now destroyed, a new one comes up. And in this Utpad and Vya characteristics, there are certain qualities is Dravya or permanence. And simple examples we just always give like gold. Gold is a Dravya. But you cannot find gold if somebody asks you, give me gold, what are you going to give? Anything you give, it is in a one form or the other form. It could be the brick or small luggage. It could be in a bangle form. It could be earring, means ornaments. But if somebody says, look, I want a gold, I don't want earring, I don't want uh, bangles, I don't want even the small brick or luggage, give me the gold. Nobody can give them just a dravya, which is called gold, without any form. So the thing is, it is inseparable. Whenever you see the dravya, it is always 
it is always in one form or the other form. Whether it is a Pudgal or whether it is a soul, it is one form or the other form. Even when soul is got liberated, it will still have his last size and shape. You may not see it, but the quality is that soul is in one form or the other form, exists in the moksha. And whatever is the last form is, it is going to remain that way forever. So I'm just trying to give you a, to satisfy your curious mind. Maybe every dravya has utpad, vya, and dravya. So on a first approximation looks contradicting, but it is not. You, you have to have the reason and the logic. Okay, in which sense it is utpad, new pariya is originated. In which sense it is weird. And in which sense it is dravya or permanent. From quality point of view, it is the permanent. And from pariyai is the different forms point of view, it is changeable. And every moment, every no, every hour the dravya is changing, or every second, the, okay, is continuously changing. That's why it is bad and bad. All right. Now these are all important things, so make sure. No, we do understand properly. And here is the things what I, just one second. Okay. Dravya, the permanent characteristics of or qualities of a substance is, is known as Dravya of a substance. Pariyai means every substance continuously going through origination and destruction. This is known as the transient characteristics or modification or pariyai. And while going through Continuous changes, certain qualities of a substance remains unchanged and is known as a substance or the dravya. And dravya and pariyai are inseparable. That is the most important things, characteristics. And as we study in depth Jainism, the fundamentals one, you will see how important these qualities are, okay? Because ultimately I told you in the beginning introduction wise, okay, what we want to do is how can I make my mind steady, no vibration, okay? There is no vibration means there is no kashai. There is no mithyatva. That's the ultimate goal. And if you understand the qualities and characteristics of the universe and its six substances, it will really help you to become more spiritual. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Uh, but these are the one I already discussed it. That's why I'm not you know, putting more time into it and we already covered it. Okay, now we talk about soul. Living beings, sorry. Just a minute. 